Hey, Andy. Yeah. You know that sales summit tomorrow? Sure. Okay, so I need you to put together a summary of sales by customer, running totals for each country of both shipped sales and unshipped sales, and then worldwide shipped, unshipped, and total sales. Okay. Okay, terrific. Sure. Oh, hey, listen. Five o'clock, no later tonight, because it's for tomorrow morning summit. And if we don't do it, I'm telling you, my future, meaning your future, meaning the future of extreme bicycles could be at stake. Uh, okay, Sh sure, Miss Warner now. No problem. Great, I'm counting on you. Thanks. What am I going to do? I don't know anything about running totals. My name is David Deitch, and I am one of your Reporter Palooza artists. Andy here may think running totals are difficult, but they are really easy. In the next few minutes, I will show you how Andy can complete this report request and impress his boss. Andy already has a customer sales by country report, so we'll start there. From the design tab, we need to first set up the column headers for the shipped sales and unshipped sales running total columns. Select and right justify both text objects. Now let's create the first running total in the field explorer. We'll call it shipped sales. We will use order amount as the field to summarize. Running totals can be configured to use a number of summary functions. We are going to use the default sum function. Running totals can evaluate for each record on change of field value, on change of group value, or whenever a formula expression evaluates true. Since an order can be either shipped or not shipped, we will use a formula. Specify that we are looking for orders that have shipped. Finally, a running total can be configured to never reset, reset upon change of field value, upon change of group value, or whenever a formula expression evaluates true. Since our requirement is to summarize by country, set the running total to reset on group 1, customer country. Save the running total and place it in the details section under the shipped sales column. Also place it in the group footer 1 section and add a line to the top of the running total report object. Now let's repeat the process for unshipped sales. This time we use an expression formula that looks for orders that haven't shipped. Save the running total and place it in the detail section under the unshipped sales column. Also place it in the group footer 1 section and add a line to the top of the running total report object. Let's take a look at the report so far. Looking good. Now let's create our report totals starting with the ship sales. The running total will be just like the ones we already created.
but this time specify to never reset. Place the running total report object in the report footer under the shipped sales column. And now do the same thing for unshipped sales. and place the running total report object in the report footer under the unshipped sales column. Finally, let's add a double border line to the top of each running total. Now let's preview the end of the report and see how it looks. So that's all Andy has to do to implement running totals. And since he accomplished it in only a few minutes, Andy will have plenty of time for his other responsibilities. Let's take a look. Hey, Andy. Yeah. That report you did for the sales summit yeah. really impressed oh, them. It made a big difference for them. Thank you so much. Great. Awesome. Well, listen, take off early again. You're doing great work. Thanks, Miss Warner, now. Yeah. All right. You're best. And now with all the Crystal Reports running totals.